Now, Hans could hardly wait for Spellbinder to leave each evening. And that was his worst mistake. The sorcerer was not yet out of sight of his castle when he saw the telltale flashes of the boy's spells in the window. So, Spellbinder is tricked by my own apprentice. I see that he will have to be taught a very final lesson. And silently, the sorcerer made his way back. His plans for the evening had been ruined. But the world's gain would be Hans's loss. Spellbinder would still have his fun and rid himself of his apprentice at the same time. Hans froze when he saw his master. How could he ever save Greta or himself now? But the sorcerer wanted the boy to try, so he challenged Hans to a duel of magic. I do hope you appreciate this last chance I'm giving you, you ungrateful boy, said Spellbinder. And a smile curled his lips, but his eyes were as cold and black as death itself. For Hans, the book was his only weapon. He could fight with the words it gave him, but they were words that were already waiting on the tip of Spellbinder's tongue. Hans needed time, but his master had all the time and magic in the world. Spellbinder was always faster. <laughs> and Hans's sleepless nights were catching up with him, so that the words themselves floated from the page and swam this way and that before the boy's eyes. <laughs> Spellbinder had waited for this moment. With a wave of his wand, he grew and grew until he was as big as the castle itself. Hans dropped the book and fell on top of it. It was then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw the words he had been searching for so desperately. And in an instant, he became a fly on the open page. But Spellbinder had never missed a trick in his life. When Hans looked up, he saw his master in the form of a spider spinning its way down towards him. Dinner is served, my boy, screamed 
Hans ran as fast as his little fly legs could carry him along a line of words. And just as the spider, spellbinder, landed on the page, the fly became Hans, the boy, again. He grabbed the book and slammed it shut, spider and all. The castle was shivered and shook, and the walls cracked and crumbled and came tumbling down. Pulling Greta behind him, Hans ran blindly through the falling stones. But just as they reached the top of the moving steps, the laboratory exploded in a blinding flash of spells that was seen for miles around. Then the ground itself opened wide and swallowed up every trace of Spellbinder's power. The good earth, though, was not ready to take Hans and Greta for a long time yet. So they found themselves and each other back on the road where this story began. Beside them was the Book of Magic. You are Hans the Sorcerer now, said Greta. And with your magic powers, you can make a better world for all of us. You too, replied Hans, smiling. For my first task will be to teach you to read and write. And hand in hand, they walked into their new freedom through the early light of dawn. <laughs>